you want a gaming headset that not only matches the aesthetics of the PS5, but is specifically tailor-made to be the best headset for PS5 users, then the wireless SteelSeries Arctis 7P might be the gaming headset for you. It gives you a broad and versatile soundscape, a durable and comfortable build, and a solid battery life that should last all day. But just because it was made for PS5 users doesn't automatically mean it's actually the best headset for the PS5. So is it worth buying or should you go with another model? And how is it to actually use? Well, for starters, the SteelSeries Arctis 7P wireless gaming headset looks nearly identical to the Arctis 7X, which it basically is. The X stands for the Xbox Series equivalent, but this matches the PS5's aesthetic. It's made from a dense plastic with an aluminum frame, and while the yokes and hinges seem relatively fragile, they should be able to withstand some punishment. They come with a breathable mesh to reduce heat retention, and overall the ear cups provide a comfortable over-ear fit, and they come with a plush air weave cushions that should remain comfortable for marathon gaming sessions. I think the control scheme is intuitive, accessible, and well laid out. On the right, you get a tactile multi-function button that can control playback and provide battery level readings and a PlayStation exclusive side tone dial that lets you adjust how much of your voice you hear when using chat, which is absent in the 7X. You also get a mic mute button, a convenient volume rocker, and a retractable microphone on the left cup. The 3.5 millimeter cable jack also lets you use this as a wired option, adding a lot of versatility to this headset. I think the wireless connectivity works well, and you get a lossless low latency 2.5 gigahertz USB receiver. My connection remained robust throughout the entire 40 foot range, and while I would have liked to see a Bluetooth connection like the Arctis 9, the dongle is reliable and I appreciate the USB-C connection because it provides a multi-platform support that I can connect to my smartphone, tablet, or even a Nintendo Switch. The main difference between the Arctis 7P and the Arctis 7X is the wireless dongle compatibility. The 7P is incompatible with Xbox Series 1, and it has a slightly smaller dongle, while the 7X provides more versatility and it is compatible with both Xbox and PlayStation consoles. If you're enjoying this video and you learned something about the SteelSeries Arctis 7P, be sure to give the video a like. It really helps the channel out, and if you're interested in updated pricing, be sure to check out the links in the description. I believe the battery life is another key benefit, and this is an improvement to the original Arctis 7. I got around 24 hours of continuous playtime per charge, which is around the same as the high-end Razer Black Shark V2 Pro, and it should be more suitable for long gaming binges, although it depends on how often you use them and your volume levels. I was also impressed by the quick charge time, which only takes around 3.5 hours to complete. You also get some battery preserving functions, such as the auto power down feature that shuts off after a period of inactivity, and you can adjust that via the companion software. SteelSeries Engine 3 companion software is an intuitive interface that gives you a comprehensive customizable settings, and I like that it's compatible with both Windows and Mac. I could dial in my preferred sound using the graphics equalizer and adjust the dynamic range compression. I think the presets deliver solid sound, which includes performance mode for gaming, immersion mode for wider soundscapes, entertainment, and a dedicated music mode. The 7P is fully compatible with the PS5's Tempest 3D audio tech to provide excellent directionality and immersion, while the 7X features the DTS-X2 compatibility. I thought the audio performance provided a better gaming experience, and I found the 40mm Neodynam drivers and the 20Hz to 20kHz frequency response range performs well in a variety of gaming genres. The sound imaging performance was impressive and the auditory cues were clearly heard, although they tend to bleed sound at higher volume levels. I found the overall soundscape to be wide and warm with excellent mid-range presence, but the music performance lacks a little bit of bass. The frequency response consistency could be better, which means the sound quality is dependent on the headset's fit and seal. The microphone delivers good quality recordings and it comes with some ambient noise cancellation to filter out unwanted background noises. It should suit most users, but not high-level streamers. So is the Arctis 7P worth the money? Well, if you're primarily a PlayStation player, I think this will deliver all you need, although there are other options worth considering. The Razer Black Shark V2 is a competitively priced option that gives you a similar battery life, similar audio performance, but the Synapse software isn't compatible with Mac. The Arctis 7P performs well in a variety of audio content and it comes with an impressive battery life. But unless you're specifically wanting a headset for the PlayStation 5, I would recommend the Arctis 7X because it offers more versatility. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or you find this video helpful, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.